Today I show you how to make this 45 degrees diagonal bookshelf. A customer ordered it in my online store and I want to show you how I made it. Enjoy! <music> The customer wanted the shelf to hold books the size of 14 by 20 centimeters. So first, I made this piece of scrap wood to the size the books are gonna be. So I can use it to take measurements for the final shelf. Then I measured the vertical parts of the shelves, which are made of 2x2s. Two I used the table saw to cut them to rough size, making the final cut with a stop block to make sure every piece is the same size. Space the blocks to see what size you want your shelf to be and cut them on the table saw using the stop block again, making sure all pieces are the same size. Next we are going to see which sides are going to have to be routed at 45 degrees so the book can stand on it. I marked those pieces with the best intent but later I realized it doesn't even matter if you mark them because every side is the same. I use a chamfer bit to cut the 45 degrees chamfer on the parts where the books are gonna stand on. Make sure to route the chamfer in several steps. If you take too much at the same time, Chances are high the router bit is gonna bite and destroy your workpiece. Mark the places you need to drill. Using the drill press, I first drill a hole halfway, which is one centimeter wide. After that, I drill with a smaller bit all the way through, so I can plug it with a dowel. Next, we measure and mark where we are going to drill the holes for the mounting on the wall. Using a Forstner bit, I drill halfway through, following up with a small drill all the way through. If you are using one screw to attach two pieces together and you don't want them to turn and you want them to be secure, make sure to use wood glue in this part. Make sure to clamp them down good, you can follow up and screw it together. Next we are going to make the dowels, which plug the holes for the screws, using the drill press and a dowel bit. Release the dowels using a screwdriver. We glue them in with wood glue and letting them rest until the glue is dried. Use a handsaw to remove the excess of the dowels of the plugs. After that, we use a random orb sander to smooth up the surface. Make sure to give everything a nice sand. After that, back to the router table to cut a little chamfer on all edges so it gets a nice and clean finish. I use Bankerai oil for this, dark teak. Now you have a unique way to store your books. I hope my client enjoys it. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did so, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you got any comments, leave them in the comment section below as always. Uh, maybe a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.